If you've been watching our channel for any length of time, you know what a huge fan I am of Bobo's, big old box of stuff. Back in August of last year, they started a Kickstarter program to help streamline their subscription process to get shipping out a little bit faster, hop the pond, go overseas. They reached their goal, and with every kind of Kickstarter that I've ever seen, there's always some kind of reward for whatever commitments you're making. We signed up for two different commitment levels on our end, which of course got us two rewards from Team Bobos. So imagine my surprise when I get tracking information for Kickstarter rewards to find out that Rob said, hey, we're sending a third package as a way of saying thank you for all of your support. So Rob, Noel, Judy, thank you for doing what you do. Keep doing what you're doing. It's perfect. Don't rush a thing. I know there's a group of people that will say, man, we love it. You hit it on the head. And the next two words out of their mouth is, Where's my box? Those people need to learn to relax and have patience and truly appreciate what's being sent to you. Or there's a long list of cookie cutter subscriptions out there that heck, half of them don't show up on time. So if you really want something truly customized, it's big old box of stuff. You'll be happy you signed up. You have to have patience and it is well worth it. So this is our big old box of stuff, Kickstarter reward extravaganza. Rob was very specific. I was supposed to open them in the numbered order. So we've got one, two, and the total, my surprise, number three, which I wasn't expecting. And of course, that's the one that got kicked around by the US Postal Service. I still don't understand how they can't bring something from point A to point B without treating it like it's a football. I'd be very interested to see what kind of package conditions come to US Postal Service's house, FedEx, and UPS. That statement may make me unpopular. Truth hurts. Super, super excited for this. These are, from what I understand, oh, more stuff, outstanding. These are the Elite Series Star Wars. Holy cow. Disney Store exclusives. The Elite Series. Kylo Ren, the First Order Stormtrooper. I mean, this is so cool. Die cast metal. And these things have got to be like six inches, if not more. This is really cool. They've got some cool bases. In collaboration with Lucasfilm, Disney Store is proud to introduce the Star Wars Elite Series, a premium line of die cast action figures featuring iconic characters from the expansive world of Star Wars. This exclusive collection is meticulously engineered and crafted with Star Wars fans in mind. And of course, then it will tell you this is Kylo Ren, a dark warrior strong with the force. Kylo Ren commands first order missions with a temper as fiery as his unconventional lightsaber. The first order stormtrooper, equipped with sleek armor and powerful weapons, the Stormtroopers enforce the will of the First Order. This is really, really cool. Very neat, Rob. Love it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 oh, wow. Holy cow. Marvel from 1983. Star Wars Annual. Thanks so much for your support, Scott. From Team Bobos. No, thank you, Rob, Noel, and Judy for all that you do. Oh, this is another two pack. And we've got Ray and BB 8. 
Bray's a resilient survivor, a scavenger toughened by a lifetime of dealing with the cutthroats of the harsh desert world of Jakku. BB-8 is the spherical, loyal, astromedic droid of the Resistance pilot Poe Dameron. Finn, a trained warrior desperate to escape his past, Finn is plunged into adventure as his conscience drives him down a heroic but dangerous path. So those two, outstanding, and very cool. Marvel number one, bonus digital edition, Star Wars annual, number three. And this is the one that kills me, because this is like, really, you know, tracked and insured, insured from themselves. I mean, it's just nuts to have that kind of damage come in a box. Really not cool, just really not. All right, now this, if it's what I think it is, is super, super cool. I've seen these out for a little bit now from Bandai. They've, they have these in a, a couple different characters. I saw a Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, and of course, No way. Oh, wow. Rob, you didn't have to do this, man. I mean, this is so cool. All right, I knew, I knew about Boba Fett. You know, and this is the Ronin style from Bandai. This is super cool. This I knew about. I was not expecting, nor did I know about this. Holy cow. So it's the Royal Guard. That is super cool. There's just the packaging on these is amazing. Movable. This is so cool, Rob. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Oh, and, and, oh, man. Rob, I was not expecting this. You didn't have to do this. I signed up for this, of course. So Bandai has been doing the whole Star Wars lineup in like the Ronin tradition, which is really cool, especially for Boba Fett. Tons of stuff in here. Just, oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, that is super, super cool. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Um, wow, really, really neat. All kinds of different hands. That's great. So this one was expected. This one was not. And Rob, you did not have to do this. This is really, really cool. Royal Guards have always been just awesome. Ever since I saw them in Return of the Jedi, guarding the Emperor. Ronin style. Completely unexpected to get the, 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 the Royal Guard, Rob. And you really, really know me. All right. We've got another Star Wars comic. Again, Marvel. Number five, uh, Chewbacca. Every single time something comes to the house from Rob and Team Bobos, it, it's just a home run. It, it always is. I can't say it enough. Click on the link below, sign up, get your order in by the 15th. That's for the following month, and they won't even start shipping it until a month after, maybe even later. It's always very good about informing people when things are happening. Check the Facebook page, check the website. You know, it says right now that, well, they're sending October's boxes out through December and January. That's right, October's in December and January. Worth the wait. Don't worry about it. Fill the questionnaire out. 
push the pay button and sit back. And it's going to be like Christmas Eve. And you're a kid just waiting for Santa Claus to show up. Every single box I've ever gotten has been fantastic. Please have patience. It will be worth it. And stop going on Facebook and saying, oh my gosh, it's so great. And where's my box? Just annoys the crap out of me. It will come sooner or later. If you don't have patience, and you, or you've got the patience of a four-year-old on Christmas Eve, this may not be the box for you. You need to go get something cookie cutter. You don't need something this unique and special. You need to be like tens of thousands of people that get the same box every single month. Or suck it up, be an adult, and just wait for it to show up. And when it does, you'll be excited to get it, open it, you get that tracking information, it's like it is coming. When it gets to the house, you gotta rush home and open it up and go. He was right. Or go join the masses and buy some cookie cutter box. We do some of those. We do quite a few of those every month. There's some great boxes, but there's very few things that separate me from the 10,000 other people that sign up for it. This is unique 100%. And to me, that's worth the wait. So on that note, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. And as Kendra always says, until next time, stay weird.